Tamaki Kawakubo Shalom. Shalom. Welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you. Welcome to Israel. Thank you. Toda. And welcome to the Jer- uh, Jerusalem Chamber Music Festival. Thank you. Very This is your second year. Yes. How, how, how do you like it? Oh, I love it here. It's just for, for a musician to be able to take part in such a fantastic festival. It's truly something out of this world. Every day it's just to come and listen and interact with the musicians. It's not something that we can do every day. And for somebody that looks up to so many of the musicians that are here, It's truly an honor. And in a way, it is fantastic because of you and your fellow musicians. You are a wonderful violinist based in Berlin, yes. originally from Japan. Yes. Making, my, yeah. grew, grew up in L.A. Yes, born in L.A. Making a, a great buzz all over the world. Yes, yes. How did it all start for you with the violin? Uh, I started violin when I was five years old. Yeah, early. Yes, Very early. Yes, my parents are not musicians, but they love music. They love classical music. So from morning until evening, they always had the radio on. And, um, I have an older sister and a younger sister. And I think they wanted us to be part of this musical culture. And so that's how I started. Um, I, my mother, actually, actually, I started with piano oh. at four. I don't remember anything. But uh, my sister was playing piano as well. And I started with piano just for one year. And my mother asked me, you know, would you want to be interested in doing something else, maybe? So there was a fantastic teacher actually living very close by. So she took me to her and we started with Suzuki Method. And I studied with her for about two years. And then I went to Robert Lipset. And uh, he's teaching now at the Colburn School of Performing Arts. Um, which is another school that's up and coming right now. And then I moved to Germany. Oh, no, no, sorry. And then I went to New York, um, studied with Delay. The Big Apple. Yes, with uh, Delay and with uh, Kawasaki. And then I moved to Lübeck, Germany. To study there. To study with um, Professor Zahar Braun. And I finished my studies in Switzerland, in Zurich. It always sounds very demanding. When you are a musician performing all over the world, in a way it's like being an incredible athlete. Yes, you know, I... <clears throat> How demanding is it? Well, of course, with the traveling, it does take a toll on the body after a while. <clears throat> when you're in your teens or 20s, you know, it's okay. But um, it's a lot of musicians make it a priority to exercise to make sure to stay in shape to stay in shape or to make sure that your body can tolerate you know all the traveling and the yeah. heavy schedule and, and things like this so uh, I've recently thought about again <laughs> exercising and keeping up so so that we can last until you know But there is also the mental dimension. It's not only yes. physical. Yes, that's right, yes. And for a musician, and normally, uh, I'm guessing that on your level, the highest level, right. you are uh, a perfectionist. How do, you, how do you handle this? You know, it's, it's a very good question. Um, every, everybody handles it differently. Everybody has different levels of, of being able to tolerate certain things. Um, of course, in a... You know, chamber music, chamber music atmosphere, sometimes you're bound to m- play with people that, you know, maybe you don't get along with very well, but you have to make it work. You know, personalities have to go out the window. It's just about the music. Um, so I, 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 I really respect people that can kind of separate The, pers- the personal issues and the music issue you know, during rehearsals and things like this because everybody's bound to have their own ideas everybody's bound to have their own interpretation 
but it has to be some kind of compromise. You know, it has to be about the music. And if you let your ego or you know your what you want and gets in the way, then it it's, it won't work. You know, so in this kind of way, psychologically, you have to make sure you're always le level-headed, um, bound to listen to ideas, bound to try new things. Um, so when I come to a festival like the Jerusalem Chamber Music Festival, it's amazing because all these musicians, you know, they have the interpretation, they have the skill, they have the passion, and it works. It, it, I'm just in awe. Like, you know, some people jump in and practice one hour and play, you know, a whole Rimsky Korsakov piece or all day rehearsals and then concert and it's just amazing and I see this and I'm like oh wow you know it's, this is really good training for me <laughs> sounds like fun it's, yeah sounds yeah. like fun and I got the impression that you are you are becoming during the days of the festival like a family like a yes. small kibbutz yeah everybody's together everybody's together everybody makes the music and eats together it's really wonderful so here come the fun questions. Yes. I asked Elena the same question. As a violinist, if you could choose, I know it's an unfair question, but I will ask it anyway. What would be your top priority? Uh, performing in a recital, you and your violin on stage, mm -hmm. like Paganini used to do, mm -hmm. uh, performing with an orchestra, playing a violin concerto, mm -hmm. or chamber music? You know, it's actually very hard to prioritize because everything leads to one another. But do you have a favorite? You know, no, I don't actually. The, say, the same yes. answer as Elena's. Yes, yes, it's, it's all about, it's all connected. Playing with orchestra is also a kind of chamber music. Playing with the recital, pianist is also chamber music. It's all about collaboration. And the beautiful thing about chamber music is that you learn certain things about the composers that you have to play for yourself. Solo concertos, for example. And I'm, I must tell you, it's amazing how much, how much I've learned, even in the week or ten days that I've been here. It really opens my mind, opens my ears, opens my eyes. To my, to the way that I, um, how do you say, the way that I look at certain pieces that I have to play solo, for example. So, I, I don't think I can really choose. It's, yeah. So we'll continue in this line of unfair questions, in your permission. <laughs> uh, role models, who yes. have been your role models yes. when you were growing up? My role models. As a, as a violinist. Yes. Who are your favorite composers? Yes. My, okay, favorite composer is very difficult. Very difficult. The I, same I, as Elena. Yes, it's very difficult. Um, favorite role models that I looked up to? Many, many. Many, many. Um, of course, you know. Dead, alive. Yes, of course. I Have loved David Oyster. Of course, the high fixes, you know, Piotrgorski, um, even Rubinstein, and all these. It doesn't have to be violinists. It's even conductors. We can get. I want to get everything from everybody. <laughs> so. Um, how important? How important it is for you to listen to other violinists. Oh, it's very important. Important. Very important. I always. I always want to learn. I always some, you know, bow arm or vibrato or the phrasing that certain people make. Everybody is different. That's what makes music so beautiful. Since it's your second visit, yes. and I know that you are coming back for oh. a concert in yes. Tel Aviv next year. Yes, in May. So we are looking forward to it. Thank you. I wanted to ask you, Tamaki, about your impression 
of Jerusalem, of Israel, <gasps> of the little you have seen, uh, the people you have met? You know, I must tell you, I love coming to Israel. I love it. I've been to Tel Aviv for about four times now. Oh. Yes, Jerusalem twice. Um, of course, the food is amazing. The portions you get are very satisfying. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, I love after dinner, after the wonderful dinner, I love to drink the mint tea. It's really, really good. Uh, the pomegranate juice, everything is so fresh. Everything is it's not processed juice. You get, you really get juice. <laughs> like in Berlin. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and of, course, not. of course, the hummus is oh, the hummus is fantastic. We, I went to the old city a little bit just to look around. Just something you have to go and experience to really get the feeling of the city. Of course, you know, I, last time I went to the Dead Sea. Ah, oh. special place. Very, 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 very special. Very special. Yeah. Yes. Tamaki, this, this has been a pleasure and an honor. Thank you. The last thing I would like to ask, what can we wish you? <laughs> I wish to be back. I wish to yes. I wish to be here more often. Yes. I think it's mutual. Yes. I heard it from some Israelis. <laughs> They have the same feeling about you. Toda raba. Toda. Thank you. Domo arigato. Domo arigato. Good luck and shalom. Thank you. Shalom.